Hi guys, so fight or flight, one of the things that we've been speaking about over the last week with some of the posts is um, living with having that deep empathic nature, that deep highly tuned in sensitivity. So kind of picture this, if you were walking around without a layer of skin on, would you stand in direct sunlight? Absolutely, I hope not. Um, and it's the same with this um, empathic, highly tuned in, sensitive nature, is the environment you're in, those that are around you, those that you come into contact with, what you come into contact with is absolute key. You know, how that works is kind of visualize this, picture this for a moment, is when I sit down with a client, I'm able to know, feel, understand where that client is emotionally what they've gone through what they're going through what has affected them and how I'm able to do that is because within that moment I feel the emotional state they're in okay so it has a direct effect on your own emotional state so for instance I sit down with a client who is um, going through extreme anxiety. I sit down, within seconds my breathing starts to get escalated. Um, I'm aware of my breathing starting to get escalated and, and I get a sense there in my solar plexus, a real tight knot, uh, a sense of deep anxiety, which I never had five minutes beforehand. How I'm able to spot that is because over a long period of time, I've really fostered um, and nurtured my sense of self. I know that is absolute key to who I am uh, within life um, as I go forwards. Um, and, and it really is the foundation to be able to do the work that I do because if I know where I'm at, anything that I sense and feel when I'm, when I'm consulting, I know is a direct influence from what I'm sensing from my client or what I'm sensing from the unseen. Um, and I'm able, you know, I'm able to kind of feel that, sense it, know it, but what that's doing, okay, is having a direct impact on my own emotional state. So if I didn't have the sense of self I had, I could feel I'm just, I'm experiencing anxiety. But I've recognised through forging that sense of self that this is not my anxiety. So having that deep empathic nature, you know, I believe that, you know, there's people walking around completely being thrown um, by other people's emotional states because what they're doing is they're coming into contact with it they're almost absorbing it it's almost becoming a part of their own and they're not realizing what what it is is they are absolutely feeling tuning into picking up on what they're coming into contact with Okay, and, and and that's fundamental. You know, if you kind of look out in the world and you look at one of the most powerful emotions that is living in the world at this time, you know, just take a moment, think about what in the world is one of the most powerful emotions that you kind of see every day. You know, name them, name a few, you know. Um, uncertainty, fear, anxiety, distress, frustration, you know, all of that becomes like a collective. And imagine this, you walk into a room and there's three or four people there that are kind of feeling that deep sense of uncertainty, that deep sense of anxiety. That becomes like a bubble of, of unseen emotion, unseen energy if you like, and that has momentum. Because as more and more people feel that, it becomes a greater emotional force. You come into contact with it, you feel it, then it becomes stronger, then it almost multiplies, if that makes sense. And what that's doing is absolutely keying into a fight and flight mechanism, you know, that was 
inbuilt in us a very, very long time as a survival tool, as a survival instinct. And my feeling is that absolutely is being triggered in so many people all of the time. You know, we're constantly bombarded by emotion um, from what we come into contact, from what we see. You know, you've only got to turn the TV on and there's the emotional bombardment. You know, all the kind of chaos that's going on in the world, that is going to affect your emotional state. Advertising do it all the time, you know, stimulate the emotional state within you. Um, you walk into a supermarket, emotional state is being constantly stimulated. So we're being overstimulated um, and that is triggering the f fight or flight mechanism, which is why people feel uh, a sense of agitation or a sense of uncertainty or a sense of um, rushed is because you're literally in a way the adrenaline is being triggered and you're literally almost rushed rushing within your body um, and what we need to gently try to do is foster that sense of self you know just completely foster strengthen that sense of self and absolutely find ways of resetting you know, there's a few thoughts about how that is always, you know, being triggered, how that's being affected. And it does literally, you know, trigger the adrenaline within the body. Um, and, you know, there's ways I feel to reset it, you know, spending some time on your own, spending time within nature, exercise, nutrition. If you haven't seen already, go and look, those, look at those tips that I posted up a few days ago. But hopefully that gives you an understanding that, you know, quite often, if you're feeling waves of emotion, is just checking what are you coming into contact with, what are you um, coming into contact with within your environment, who's within your environment, what emotional state are those people, you know, because I feel that quite often it is being stimulated. And I believe that if you have a sensitive nature, it absolutely is going to feel like an overwhelming almost bombardment because you are literally walking around without a layer of skin i'll leave that with you um as always a pleasure take care guys speak soon bye bye